Hey all, Frozen Foxy here, looking like I've got an emo haircut because this will not stop uh, falling back down. <laughs> but you know, I guess some days it's good to look like you're about to join Green Day and uh, find your own boulevard of broken dreams, I'm trying to walk my way out of that one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, today is uh, Sunday, it's, uh, it's uh, February the 6th. And uh, we're, we're going for round two of the gym. I did uh, a little bit of lifting earlier today. So when they ask if Foxy lifts, the answer is kinda. Um, got a, a smallish home set, but uh, it, it works out for what it is. Well, not the biggest variety, but it, uh, it works out. Weights are expensive. Computer over there, working out for other reasons. Sorry, Skittles, but you're too small to be a weight. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I make use of it. But uh, we're, we're trying to uh, improve the character in this uh, this strange MMO that is that is me. Because <laughs> uh, while, uh, while I've definitely got some uh, book learning, I definitely need uh, some, uh, some extra constitution and strength to go with that. Get some dexterity in there. <laughs> got to improve our characters but uh yeah speaking of speaking of books um i actually uh, just finished uh going through stephen king's uh the long walk which uh is is a strange book to be reading while you're doing cardio especially if you're like on a treadmill since uh the whole premise of the story is uh whoever stops walking gets shot <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's kind of a that's kind of a weird one to be uh working with while you're doing the gym honestly i uh i much prefer uh stephen king's son uh joe hill i think uh i think he's a, a really amazing writer honestly um he made a uh a show recently uh nosferatu nos 4a2 kind of like a vanity plate um that was after the book of the same name um, and I think, uh, I think the show turned out, uh, pretty decently. I've only seen a couple of episodes of it so far, but it seems to be, uh, following pretty in line with the book. So if you're, if you're not big on books, uh, that one's worth checking out as a show. Uh, but I do recommend the book one way or another. It's, uh, it's one of my favorites, uh, though it is a little gruesome. So just, just a, a heads up and trigger warning there. Uh, though, if you're watching me and if you've seen some of my horror videos, then you're probably fine. It's not that bad, right? <laughs> um, other than that, uh, uh, while I was uh, looking at uh, the videos on my hard drive and working on getting things uh, compiled, I thought to myself, you know, I should check the warranty on these hard drives because I've had, uh, I've had hard drives fail in the past when I've been uh, working on videos. And uh, I just wanna make sure that these are under warranty and they're still good. And uh, then, then I remembered that uh, most of the hard drives that I have in the current computer that I'm working on, I scavenged outside of my, uh, my old computer. So that, uh, that did not work out well. I found out that uh, all of the drives that I have in there, uh, except for, uh, except for my main drive and my game drive have expired warranties on them. I'm like, oh man, I've got to, I've got to drop like some cash or something to get some new drives, which is, it's going to be an expense. It sucks, but uh, it has to be done. Otherwise I'm going to probably run into corrupt footage or, or losing hours of playtime. Um, but yeah, as we speak right now, uh, more of the uh, uh, bloodstained ritual of the night is uploading. That's, uh, that's still ongoing, um, probably going to be ongoing for quite a bit longer, but, uh, uh, it's, it's going well, it's going well. We're, we're going to have, uh, we're going to have plenty of episodes following the schedule and then whatever the hell this is, this, this vlog thing that I've got going on that I still don't quite understand what I'm doing. <laughs> um, outside of, uh, uh, YouTube, still trying to, uh, work on, the, uh, the improvement of the intellect. You gotta, you gotta hit all the stats and be well rounded. Um, I think I'm about a quarter of the way through the, uh, the red hat class. So, uh, uh, hopefully once I get, uh, get all of that, uh, rounded off, I'll, uh, I'll go look at the exam and, uh, uh, maybe get a certification out of it. That'll be nice. 
anyway, I'm going to head into the gym and uh, I'll catch you all after I get out of there. All right. Another hour of power worked out in the gym. <laughs> Is that like a uh, plus one constitution? Yeah, probably not. Probably more like a uh, uh, plus point one constitution, if anything. <laughs> But hey, it's uh, it's another day in the uh, in the books, so uh, you're one step closer. Again, it's uh, it's all about that uh, that patience. You got to keep working towards it, and then eventually you'll get there. Uh, I started up a, a new Stephen King book uh, while I was while I was doing my cardio this time around, uh, doing the the Dead Zone right now, which uh, seems interesting so far. Not uh, not too happy about the. Uh, the uh, uh, pet abuse towards the beginning of the book, but you know, I mean, there has to be some kind of villain in these books, right? I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of reminded though of uh, of uh, a speech that I remember watching from uh, from Arnold Schwarzenegger, which uh, I've always found kind of motivational. Uh, he's he's talked about uh, how people tell him that they don't have enough time for the gym, and uh, he went through this whole spiel of uh, you, you work eight hours a day. You, you have to get eight hours of sleep, and then uh, that, that leaves you some hours for doing other things, for, for eating, and you probably invest maybe a couple hours to three hours into preparing food and eating the food. Um, and there's, there's uh, maybe a little bit of socializing in there, but uh, there's, there's the ability to fit at least an hour to, uh, to go do things. And uh, the way he described it was, uh, what if you invest it one hour in picking up a, a, a book every single day of the year. By the end of that year, you're going to have 365 hours and you're going to have so much more knowledge than you had at the beginning of the year. Now I'm paraphrasing, but uh, I, always, I always found that statement kind of uh, uh, powerful to, to think about. It's like, wow, I could, I could have 365 hours invested in something by the end of the year just by doing an hour a day and uh, I kind of I kind of took that a little bit further and uh, started listening to audiobooks while I'm doing an hour in the gym um, trying to uh, trying to invest in myself uh, both mentally and physically so we'll, we'll see how it works out but uh, it so far it's been it's been pretty good I managed to uh, to get through quite a few books that way actually uh, uh, went through the entire uh, Witcher series that way, um, which is uh, pretty pretty good, honestly. Um, it's it's a little uh, uh, jerky and uh, uh, jumps around during the Witcher saga, but uh, uh, all in all, I really did enjoy the books. Um, honestly, the uh, the six books that are for the Witcher saga versus uh, the books that are around it, I actually prefer the books around it because they tell uh, little concise stories. Uh, about Geralt, um, which uh, which are very uh, direct and to the point, so you get to to really understand and know the character. Uh, whereas the the six books in the Witcher saga, um, while they are they are pretty pretty decent, uh, they start to jump around a lot because of uh, uh, the theme of the book. And when they start to jump around, it gets a little bit confusing. Um, they're still good books. Don't get me wrong; I, I really do enjoy them. Um, uh, the other thing that, uh, that I remember reading, uh, foreign book wise was, uh, uh, Metro 2033, which was, uh, which was also pretty good. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I do recommend getting out there and expanding your mind. It uh, it really helps with your, your mental state, uh, puts you, at least for me, it puts you in a better mood. Um, so I, I do like going out and reading books and learning new things. I think that's I think that's a big reason why I like games with story in them is is because it's a it's a new story to uncover and I, I like playing games and investing myself and figuring out what that story is uh, just as much as I enjoy the gameplay. Anyway, hope this video finds you all doing good today and uh, I'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Oh, and before I forget, <laughs> because some people might be interested in it. Uh, Today's uh, uh, Fox-themed shirt uh, is is me trying to uh, uh, figure out how many items that I need to save in a video game. <laughs> Good times. Anyway, bye again.